So after I was medically retired from the Marine Corps, I really fell in love with snowboarding and started competing with Team USA uh, in the Paralympic realm of, of border cross and bank solemn. And over time, you know, those medals didn't mean um, nearly as much to me as, um, you know, I needed to feel purpose or at least like a sense of being able to give back to, you know, a community that I was passionate about. So I um, retired, if you will, from competing in snowboarding being from Florida, I, you know, I didn't know anything about what I was doing as far as mountaineering goes, but I hit the ground running with doing the seven summits, so the highest peak on each of the seven continents. In June of 2018, I attempted Denali for the first time. On my first attempt, I was unsuccessful and I was pinned for 17 days at 14,000 feet. So no going up, no going down. It was, you know, a huge lesson in everything that I was trying to do in mountaineering. You know, it was the first mountain that I really had to turn around on. And there was a lot of realizations about what the outdoors could throw my way. It is really, really challenging to do what I do, especially on one leg and dealing with so many different variables and to be so close and then have to turn around. It took me you know, a long time to shift my perspective towards failing, if you will, on that mountain. I actually you know, did my reattempt uh, this past June and I was successful. And it was unlike my, my first attempt, period. This time around when I made it up there, I couldn't help but cry. You know, partly crying out of frustration, like, holy cow, you have to do that. Like you had to do this all over again. You know, <laughs> parts of it are miserable. But then like once I made it there, it was just really, really motivating, you know, to the point where it was like, I'm not turning around again. You know, I'm not going to do this for a third time. So, you know, me and my team really need to put our heads together and make sure uh, that we're going to be successful. When I'm moving, I only can use my, my right leg. So I take a, a step forward with my right side and then I just match it with my left. Unfortunately, that also means that my stride is basically, you know, three to everybody else's one, especially on the uphill. So I just move a little bit quicker. If you have all of your limbs, for the most part, everybody's gonna move the same. You're gonna move at the same speed. And then there's me who's like, you know, running laps around people half the time. <laughs> I think about all the people that, you know, want to be out here doing what I'm doing and how, like, even if it's miserable for me in the time being, this really is setting a precedence. Like, I don't mind doing it the hard way as long as it opens the doors for other people to be able to figure out how to how to do it, maybe to do it better, faster, or stronger than I'm doing it. But at least, like, it makes the adaptive community known and what we're doing in it. And again, it provides opportunities for others to be able to explore being able to be out on the mountain. There's two sides of it. I climb and I do all of these crazy endurance events. I mean, to prove to myself that I can do it, to really give myself the confidence that I can go forth and do anything regardless of, you know, these injuries or, you know, whatever life throws at me. By doing what I'm doing, it lets others realize what they're capable of doing too. To me, it's just being able to push the idea that, you know, the outdoors is, is for everybody and there's so much more to the outdoors than, you know, what we give it credit for. The outdoors is what saved my life. And if I can, you know, bring that, that, that mentality to somebody else and say, put the phone down, put the computer away and go outside for 30 minutes, um, you know, it, it totally shifts your, yeah, your mental and, and emotional well-being. I've successfully done five of the seven summits. I think what's really awesome about the seven summits is every single climb is so different. You know, with them all being on different continents, I still have yet to find two climbs that are the same, or at least they definitely don't teach me the same lesson. Let's put it that way. It's about leaving a legacy and being able to say, hey, this is how I did it. Let me teach you how I did it, but then also let's make it totally adaptable to you um, and whatever your situation is. So, I mean, I'm really grateful to be able to work with, you know, one, people one-on-one -on -one, um, and like in the, in the mentor role, I went through bouts of, you know, there's no place for you in the outdoors. There's no place for you on these mountains. You're too slow. But then when you actually like you're successful in it and you, you can really overcome those thoughts and those emotions, I mean, that's when your life changes. So that's why I keep doing it. And now I'm probably just addicted to it. <laughs>